one living cell survived, and that is all I needed for my regeneration. Soon that single living cell began to multiply into many. It, was... it is all in here. It's part of my design. Every cell has a life of its own. I can't die, it is impossible! What's up everybody, I'm back with another Soul Lane play-by-play. -play. We are on the final days of Season 8, very, very close to Season 9, and I figured what better way to send off, you know, Season 8 than doing a, a fan-favorite build, which is the Healing Ratatasker build. So that's what we're going to be doing today in the play-by-play. -play. But today's video is actually going to be sponsored, and it feels really good to say this, by NVIDIA. Today we're going to be using NVIDIA's GeForce Now to run it down in Smite. If you don't know what GeForce Now is, let's just say the future is now, old man. GeForce Now allows you to use a GPU from the cloud to play the games you love with the power of a high-end gaming rig. And not just any old GPU. For today's play-by-play, -play, I get to use the power of an RTX 3080 to make sure I get to watch my teammates feed in that sweet, crisp quality. The process is really simple, guys. Once you have your account and everything's linked up, you just open up GeForce Now and find the game that you want to play. In our case, it's going to be Smite. You hit play, and it's going to use the cloud to launch the game. And then we're going to be able to play Smite on a RTX 3080. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we're actually in game. So go ahead and cut now. Oh, let's bump these settings up. Now that we got the power of the RTX 3080, let's move everything all the way up. Ragdoll physics on, of course. Hi. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. All right, guys, we're in game. So let's see what we're going to build here. I know that we're going to be going the full healing build, but there's been some changes to my items and stuff. You guys hear the smite music in the background. I haven't, I uh, don't usually have that on, but um, hey, it's a nice nostalgic feel. So I'm keeping it on for now. Obviously going to go Boombas because we're going to have Boombas dagger late game. That goes without saying, right? Go three health pots, one multi, and we'll go mid. I think what the full build is going to be is Green Acorn, Soul Eater, Stone of Gaia, Mail of Renewal, Cad Shield, Upgraded Boombas. And that should be it, right? I think that will be it. Um, yes. You know, since this is my first time on GeForce now, some of my settings have a uh, uh, reset. But um, honestly, we're just going to play with it. You know, I'm a pro player. I should be able to make it work, right? I feel like I should. <laughs> You can already notice that crisp, crisp quality. Look at the diamond rat skin. I like the diamond skins. A lot of people don't like them for some reason, but I think they're, I think they're nice. So I'm rolling with it. I'm gonna grab my three. So on the first wave, I can hit him plus the wave and kind of group it up. I don't know what I'm against actually in lane because it's a, uh, it's kind of a weird enemy comp. They have two assassins, but I guess we're kind of the same. Except we have an Ama jungle. So never mind. Obviously gonna be going the med. That's just extra healing, you know. Nice. Thantos does have a lot of early pressure, but didn't really fight for it on the wave. Plus, he uh, he did go the Axe plus tier 1 uh, Blackthorn start, so he should just kind of win lane off of that because that's kind of just the meta start, and I'm going a bit of a different route with my build. We just got to get to that mid to late game, and this, this character feels so OP with healing. The healing build. Nope. He sh could probably go on me here, but... I'll just back it up a little bit. So yeah, we're using the GeForce Now um, system, and it's uh, so far so good. Uh, I can see this being very, very useful, uh, especially for like people out there that are like really big into single player games, want to have like get the full effect of like how well the game, or not how well, but how good the game looks and how like the art is and everything like that. People that are really interested in that, I definitely was when I was just playing the Halo campaign. I thought the art team did an amazing job with that game. Took a little bit of damage there. He was tanking the minions because he uh, hit me, but it shouldn't be too bad for him just because he has a lot of sustain in his kit. As Thana Toaster, the last hits and everything. Just back up a little bit. And the cool part about uh, GeForce now is that it works on like laptops and everything. So like you could like, I don't know, if, for those of you out there, maybe have like MacBooks or just, you know, maybe travel a little bit and want to like game on the go. Um, you can bring your laptop and connect to the, the server and do the exact same thing, so pretty cool stuff. Now, Smite isn't the most in graphically intensive game ever. I think we all know that. I'm just getting a little bit of pressure here because Ama was in the jungle and Thantos went to him for some reason, so with my little bit of pressure, we'll use our Boombas to clear out the camps and 
Should be pretty easy. Do a little bit of sustain back, get our blue right on cooldown. Got first blood, but they traded right back for it, so. That just means the game's gonna be close, which I like. I like. I'm gonna go ahead and do these backs. Probably not great for me to do since Amma's on her way over here anyway, but I have Boombas, so. I just wanna be kind of efficient. So like I was saying, yeah, it's, it's not the most graphically intensive game, but you know, it has its it has its a uh, fair share of uh, requirement for, oh, he got my dash there, but it's all good. It has its fair share of requirement for, you know, um, playing the game. So it's pretty nice to be able to use a 3080 for that. I do have med, which kind of counters Thanatos because of his, you know, his executor or whatever. I actually might be able to play aggro here. Nice, Amma's here, but yeah, no problem. Amma did kind of scam me there. <laughs> My map's not in the same place, so I'm not uh, exactly too map aware right now. I'm gonna get my green acorn and stay. I mean, I could still heal up a lot with uh, the green acorn, my med. I wanted to hit him with that, it's unfortunate. Look at my, look at the green on my tail and everything. That looks cool. I never really noticed it when you play the other skins. I don't know if it actually is like part of the other skins, but. Nice, I tagged him with that. I want to make sure I hit him with that so I can get my green acorn healing. Still on my med up, so I don't have to be that afraid. If I didn't have med, I would definitely be much more scared here. I'll try and use the uh, scorpion here to get some healing back with Boombas plus the actual healing. Uh-oh. He's going for the Ama. Get out of there, Ama. Oh, unfortunate. He just saw him on his uh, his passive, the Thantos, and he gets a free execute for it. Unfortunate. That's okay. We'll go ahead and back here, get our Chalice, get a multi-pot. Like I said, next item is going to be Soul Eater. Then we're going to work on a, a Gaia. And Gaia actually is pretty good here because they have quite a few knockups. So that's a nice serendipitous occasion there. Make our way back to lane. Be just in time for our blue buff, which is nice. Enemies in middle lane. Um... Yeah, we'll get this right on cooldown. Backs are up as well, but Ama's gonna be coming out of base too, I'm probably. Well, she went left jungle, but. One thing I will say is that this kind of just uh, doubles down on like, me you know, messing with your effects if you're trying to get better at the game and having like some more. I say effects, but I mean like, you know, UI and stuff like that so that you can uh, be a little bit more efficient. Like having your map closer to the middle of your screen and having it bigger with like tra tra transparency and everything. But no problemo. We're gonna make it work. The the game's running smooth like butter. Which is very, very nice. I do have a uh, streaming PC and a gaming PC, so I usually don't have to worry about that. But um, I know a lot of people just have single PC rigs and whether you're a streamer or anything, you know, it might well also uh, sometimes just like drop frames for whatever reason. It could be a, a weird finicky game. Finicky, like me. Get it? So I'm a little bit uh, actually ahead of him in XP because, well, I actually don't really know why, but I think we can try and make the most of it here. Hit level eight before him, so that's nice. One cool thing about Rat recently, and I don't think I've played, uh, I've had a gameplay with him since this, but, um, or at least a healing gameplay, is that you get extra power from your acorn now. So 35 power from that bad boy instead of what it used to be, which was, I believe, 25. Oh, gotta hit him at least one, one of the acorns, one of the nuts. Trying to use the minions to body block his death scythe because obviously it's a single target. We could probably kill this guy if Mama wants to come over. Nice, got the stun on him and now he's just dead. Nice. Thantos ult takes a while to get off the ground. So one cool thing about Rad is that with your ult you're very, very safe. Oh, okay. We can actually probably kill this guy. I'm gonna ult. Oh, attack. I'm gonna med so the Ama lives. Nice. I just wanted to med just to make sure Amma lived. Um, ended up not being really that worth it, but I guess you can use that sustain to uh, go farm the jungle and do some stuff, you know? If you guys watch my videos often, you're probably thinking like, the smite music is weird to hear. And it's weird to hear for me. I haven't had that thing on in a while. Good to punish the Thantos though. He is a pretty easy gank because he can't get away right away. You know, it's very, very slow ult. Plus, um, you know. Uh, he's not going to have like an escape or anything. He gives us some extra movement speed and stuff like that from his two. But now we have a decent lead in our lane. The game itself is pretty close up. Although we're up like 1k even though they have four kills. Whenever you're up gold and even though the, team has, uh, the enemy team has more kills than you, it's usually a sign that like they're really prioritizing kills and not the farm. I mean, that's kind of an obvious statement maybe to some. But it just kind of, I'm just kind of like kind of driving home the point that, you know, 
kills aren't everything. It kind of is what you get off those kills. And sometimes you can get kills, but you get really low, so then you don't even get to farm off the kills. So was it even really worth it? Because you basically died in the process. I'll try and hit him with that so I can group up the wave. I just want to clear this wave and back up. So I can get my soul eater, which is 2150, isn't it? Oh, it's just 2100. I could back. I'll get the totem first. Uh oh. I might be dead here. I'm indeed dead here. They said retreat right lane. I should have known. I should have just. I should have just backed. Uh, for some reason, I thought Soul Eater was 2150. I don't know. My memory is not serving me well, but. This guy should just get out. Phantos is going to be incoming. Retreat. And <laughs> run away. <laughs> Such a good voice line. Yeah, okay, no problem. I mean, we'll take that death. I don't really care. I'm going to come back and be really strong with my full Soul Eater. Oh, I can actually maybe come to this fight. I'm about to spawn and I have my ult. They're kind of running away from me though, so it's a little bit awkward, but we can probably clean up this Poseidon. Nice, got some good damage on her. On him. Nice. Maybe kill this guy too. Use the stun, C or, uh, to CC chain him off the Nuwa stun. Didn't want to stun right away. Two's coming up soon. That's his knockup, nice. Got the cripple as well. He did push away under my tower, but that is well worth it to get two kills. We'll get some of this. All right, nice. Four minions. That's pretty good. <clears throat> a better way I could have cleared that is I could have waited for the tower shot to come out. And then while it's in the air, if you kill the minion that it's locked onto, the tower will um, take a while to reset. I may be beating a dead horse here because I've said this a few times, but there's still a lot of smite. New smite players and even advanced smite players don't realize that. Um, it takes forever for the, the tower to reset. It's like cooldown on the tower shot. If you kill it right when it's in the middle of the air, so could have done that pretty efficiently. You guys maybe subconsciously notice it when you watch me play, but I'll do it from time to time. Get these on cooldown. Whenever you have like a really good jungle clearing item like Boombas or Eye of the Jungle or Mannequins, it's really nice to get that stuff on cooldown as fast as possible. Now it's maybe a little bit bad for me to take that farm from my Ama, but you know, who's gonna carry this game? Am I right? I don't know if you guys noticed in that last fight, but um, it's just picture perfect. Sometimes when I get into team fights, even with my really good gaming PC and stuff, with Smite at least, you know, it's it's weird. Sometimes I'll drop frames in fights, especially when I'm streaming and stuff like that, and that was uh, kind of just fine right there. This guy has some def he has some defense and health on me right now, so I don't want to just sit here and take trades like that. Is there an um, uh, Willux here? Yeah, I heard a Willux gone or her horse. <laughs> That's what adapting used to say. He always used to say the horse. <laughs> um, but I'll just, this is good to do whenever you're getting ganked and you know that they don't really have much kill potential and you kind of see them on a ward and stuff. It's kind of just keep them there, make them think that they can gank you and then they're not spending that time farming or going ganking the other lane. So it's just, it's just really good for you to do. Just a nice high level play that um can separate like really good players from just like decent players. Just run, if you just run away the whole time, they're like, okay, well, we're not going to gank. Let's go do something else. You just make the decision for them in a way. I'm going to go beads because they have a lot of CC. And uh, I just don't want to... I want to be able to just survive as long as possible in these fights and just heal as much as possible. It'll be pretty fun. I'll run our way back to lane. So the only thing you have to worry about with G-Sports now, which is an easy thing to worry about because us gamers already do worry about this, is just having like a good internet connection so that you can actually access the cloud and have a... Uh, you know, be able to stream the game. Um, but yeah, like I said, most people, sh you know, s sometimes it's out of our control and I get that. I've lived in some shitty areas where the internet was just not, um, not available. I mean, there's a lot of monopolies and stuff like that and you just sometimes can't get great internet, but, um, that is pretty much the only thing you have to worry about and, and then you'll, your game will run like this. Like, but, uh, I can maybe actually rotate to mid here. Just because I have my ult. Rat ult just gets you... I mean, basically any semi global gets you to these fights so easily. Oh, oh my god, the kill. She got both kills. That's fine. I just wanted to get a kill from a rotation. No problem. They don't really need me there. I'm just going to go actually hold my wave and right. I can also back for my Gaia since I already have it, but... You never want to stomp the game too hard when you're trying to try out a late game build, you know? Trying to hit him with that so the minions come out of tower. Nice. So I didn't lose any of the... Not any, but... I only lost one. We'll go ahead and back. 
I could actually contest him if he's doing my Sharpie or going to our backs, but let's just come out of base field really strong right now. Got our full Gaia. So next up, what was it? Uh, we'll go ahead and go Cad Shield fourth, and then go Mail Renewal, and then finish up the Boombas. Cad Shield, since we already have Healing Key or here, here, and our Meditation. Really strong to get this early. What's nice as well is that we don't have any healing besides, I guess, Ama Self Heal and the Life Steal from X Ball. We don't have any. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, um, we don't have any healing on our team, so it's less likely that they'll go anti heal for us. So that's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Hopefully they won't go anti heal. But usually when I do this build or do any like fun healing builds, they uh, they end up going anti heal. I mean, it's smart because it can be really really strong if you don't punish it. He is slow immunist too, so it's a little bit harder for us to chase him down. Didn't get quite enough damage before. I mean, he's got a full Blackthorn and Breastplate, so he's quite tanky. He will hit me hard, but the thing is, I'll sustain a lot of it up. No problem. No way they're actually on Pyro, right? Are they actually on that? No, they're not. Okay. I was like, no way they're doing that. They don't have any soloing pressure. They're a bit behind. I mean, sometimes it's good to pull objectives from behind just so you can get them off the map and maybe get yourself back in a little bit. Sometimes you like when you're behind and you go and pull the Ghoul Fury, it doesn't end up being that great, but you get it. But at least you get it off the map and don't let them snowball even more by getting an objective. And if you can get in and get out without them getting kills, because usually what's important is the kills around objectives as well. I'm going to go ahead and do these back camps. Ama could have come here out of base, but now it gives her opportunity to rotate left, get those, uh, those camps and maybe even rotate to that fight, help out dual lane. Next ball's tower is down, unfortunately, but... Our uh, enemy soul lane tower is down, so, you know, it's a trade. We also have the enemy mid tower down, which is probably the most important tower in the game. Enemy tier one as a good indicator of how the game's going and how much pressure you can have on the map. It's really hard for a mage to safely farm once their tower's gone. Oh, did I get all three? Okay, I got two. I got two. I'm gonna get these as well and then rotate over. Get them to a point where I can dash through them to kill them and then it's just efficiently rotating. I'm gonna land on Poseidon here. Maybe there's three people here actually. I'm gonna land on a Willux. I'm gonna help my team out. A Willux is kind of out of position here. Stun her horse. Nice. Good stuff. That was his Nami dash. Oh, we're actually diving this. Holy cow. I'm go ahead and beads that. I'm gonna med my Ares. Oh, I wasn't in range for it. Nice. Got the CC chain off. We're diving the tier two. I'm surprised we're not getting punished for this, but. Hey, now we're up 5k. I'm just gonna go in and back. <clears throat> the fact that we just dove a tier 2 and did not get punished for it is... It's a little bit... Uh, a little bit saddening for the enemy team, I'll say. But they're not out of it yet. They're not out of it yet by any means. Rat's just really good at making those rotations because he can just always be there with his uh, semi-global. Same thing applies to like Thor. And I guess not a semi-global, but like if you ever play Athena Solo, I was playing it a lot at the beginning of the season. I was having a lot of fun with it. Especially when Destal was broken and, you know, Athena has an AoE auto and a reach, which is an AoE auto. All right. Well, that was a, that was kind of a short game. You know what? We'll get another game play in, all right? How about we play, uh, we play another one. Hopefully it's a little bit closer. So, um, yeah. I'll be right back. I'll see you guys in the next game, okay? You know the drill. Same build, same everything. Hopefully this time we'll be able to make it to late game and actually, you know, experience the full wrath that is the healing Reddit task here. They do have an Aposh this game, which has, you know, his kit has a lot of anti-heal built into it, so. Meditation again. <clears throat> They have a decent amount of healing on their team as well, just from their, their character's kits, you know, Terra, Cupid. So let's let's just, uh, we're crossing our fingers, hoping we'll get to that mid to late game to get to really experience it. <clears throat> you know, one thing I forgot to talk about, and I didn't really forget to talk about, but want to talk about it as well, is like right now with the, uh, um, the ship, tr the ship, the chip shortage, and um, just like, I don't know, all these crypto nerds buying all this, uh, all the computer parts for shit. It's kind of hard to get access to a, a really, really good GPU right now. So that's another thing I think that uh, people could benefit from with GeForce now in this cloud gaming. Cloud gaming. Did I say gaming? Cloud gaming. I mean, 
no finite cave viewer is a crypto nerd. I know that for a fact. It probably would have been better for me to use my three earlier just so I can have it a little bit sooner for the wave, but hey, it's all good. Not sure what I'm going to be against. Probably going to be a Nike. Could be Thor with a Nike jungle, you know, people mixing it up, especially at the end of the season, trying to have some fun. But it looks like that's not going to be the case. <laughs> nice. We were able to get the stun off, so she didn't get the last hit, but the last hit of her one, that is. So Nike is very strong against uh, pretty much everybody in lane, but definitely good against Rat. With this pressure, since I have Boombas, I actually can steal the Sharpie away real quick, get a little bit of healing from it as well. It may not end up being as much healing as I took from the camp. Probably around the same. But, you know, taking that away is nice. What I want to try and do is group up the wave and try and outclear with just, like, AoE autos. She's actually focused on hitting me, so that's fine with me. I'll be able to outclear, probably. Nice, we were able to hit stun. Gotta be a little bit careful here, but I have my med and I can just use that if I need to. Which I will. And I can maybe bait her in. Kill her. Nice. I know I'm gonna hit level 3 off of that wave, so if I just focus on the wave clear and uh, just use my sustain to my advantage to keep myself alive, then I can maybe bait her, you know? And that's what happened, so... In other cases, I probably wouldn't be able to do that without med, but that's kind of the power of med, you know? Just wanna try and interrupt her one. We were able to interrupt it. She does have TP, so she's right back in the lane, but that's no problem with me. I actually might be able to back here. Since I can buy my acorn from lane, I'm gonna go ahead and back with the pressure that I have, grab a chalice, grab a multi-pot, and then I can uh, maybe, maybe stay out for a long time now. I'll be able to stay out for a while, because once I get my acorn, I'll get more sustain. I have a bunch of healing for my pots. Like, we'll be chilling. So that's a nice, that's actually a nice back to look for. If you ever get a solo kill and they, uh, you know, get a little bit of pressure back by, they get a tier one item, they refill their chalice, and now they're full HP, you know, you wanna try and come back and kind of match that. Because you want to actually be able to use that solo kill to your advantage. So now we're both going to be the same HP, same pots and everything. So I'm going to take a little bit of damage from this. So I'll go ahead and pop a health pot. I do have Boombas though, so that'll heal me up as well. Pretty close to level 5. Um, usually you'd have a decent XP lead on the person you solo kill. But if they have TP, which they probably will next season. Because TP is going to be really strong. You don't really get that XP lead as much, so... I am level 5, but I don't know if I really want to go for their blue. I hear her on it, and I could have maybe ulted to it, but if Thor was there, it would probably just be not great to look for, especially with my med down and me not having my tier my tier 3 acorn yet. So we'll just chill a little bit. Be a little bit more patient. Now we have our acorn. Oh, I wanted to hit her with that. I wanted to hit her with that just for, you know, the healing, but also to group up the wave. She's really focusing a lot on hitting me, which is kind of something you do want to do as Nike. Just because you can kind of hit them plus the wave a lot of the time, and you just have really good poke because it's unmissable and does a lot of damage. So she is poking me a good bit, but we will have a lot of sustain. It's kind of odd. It's kind of odd for her to jump on me there. I thought maybe I was getting uh, Thor dunked. We'll just pop our multi-pot in our last chalice. We'll heal a lot of that back up. And now we have a ton of pressure because her ult's down. And uh, we're level on her. Not quite a full level, but... Let's see what she decides to do here. She is kind of walking up. We might be able to kill here depending on what she does. I'm going to wait for her to one. No, I'm not. She's not going to win, so I'll just get the kill. It is really bad for her to walk up to that. Like, she just needs to give up the pressure in the lane after kind of uh, losing it by me forcing her ult and her, her getting low and everything, you know? And, all right, well, we're playing another game, and the game's running smoothly. And no complaints, that's for sure. We'll go ahead and push the wave, then meet my Kamazots at the blue. And then we'll back after that just because we have no more Chalice left and are pretty low. Yeah, Mama White Kama. Thank you. We can actually get tier 2 Soul Eater here because it's 1050. And then come back and feel pretty nice. It's always nice to be able to get a full Soul Eater, but you know. Hey, we're getting kills and we're getting a lot of pressure. We can always just back and come right back. Whenever you have a lot of pressure, it's really easy to get your backs off. A lot easier for you to get your backs off, that is. So run back to lane here. See what the gold lead is looking like. We're up about 1k because we got the first blood and that second kill. 
And we're also farming the jungle pretty well. Just because I've done the Sharpies a few times and all that jazz. My abilities are down, so it's really not good for me to dash on her like that. Because if she just starts wanting me, I won't be able to stun her interrupt it. She's going to walk up to wave because she thinks I'm on totem. But I'm going to 2 first with the prot shred, then 3, then dash. So that's a lot of damage off. And I can always just use my AoE autos to clear. It's one benefit of a character like this is you can use their abilities on them and then AoE auto the wave down. He should not be doing this. Maybe an ult force here. And just his jump. See that I get all that health back from hitting all three of my abilities, so the poke wasn't even worth it. Plus, you know, I'm just going to dash on him. I'm kind of just baiting him in. Teams, it's, it's close right now. 4-4, four, four, that's what we like to see. That's what we love to see. They're duking it out across the map. We got our vision shard, so we're going to go ahead and place that in a spot that we might see Thor ulting from uh, uh Okay, no problem. I'm going to do their sharpie here. I heard the call that Thor was coming. I also saw him on the map, so... We'll just go ahead and chill a little bit. We got our med up. They don't really have much kill potential unless they CC chain me really hard and burst me, but eh. Let's see what the Nike decides to do here. Just want to group up the wave. She is using her poke on me. She can't always use her AoE autos to clear the wave plus her two, so she's really not in the better spot either. I'm on my way, Kama. Oh, he dropped it. Unfortunate. It's always unfortunate when you're winning lane so hard that you can't even you know you don't have time to do your meet your teammate your blue. I'm gonna try and do it from the jungle here, ult from the jungle, so I can kind of surprise her. Ooh, barely wasn't able to. She didn't ult though, so no ult force there. But we almost got the kill. It's very close. If I could have maybe got an auto in there or something, but I don't know. She's just gonna be able to get her jump off or ult off by the time I. Do all my damage so she's not gonna die unless she messes up horribly. Kind of just want to back for my soul eater. Whenever you get a stacking item, you kind of want to purchase it ASAP. So I'm gonna go ahead and back here, push the wave and back. Call it enemy missing. Even though she did back, that's a rotation that you can sometimes look for and that the enemy sometimes might do as well. Is if they have if they have to back, maybe they can just get a rotation in somewhere coming out of base because people won't expect it. And you're probably just thinking, oh, they're just running back to lane here. But, you know, sometimes that's a good thing to look for. Go ahead and clear this camps because my cam is in right lane. And I'm coming out of base and I have Boombas, so might as well. <clears throat> when I say that I have Boombas, I just mean that I clear it so fast that it doesn't really lose me any time. He has a full Mystical, so he's got that damage on us in defense. So look at me, look at this poke. But the good news is we have a lot of sustain, so he might win the just outright burst battle against us, but we'll just try and use our sustain to our advantage. Kind of space for her one until my three and dash are back up, then I can kind of get in range again. Oh, we missed the stun. That's okay, though. We cleared the full wave, and... Okay. I still have med up, so... And I'll heal for my abilities again. This is going to be a close battle. Her jump is down, so we're fine. Gotta be a little bit careful of Thor somewhere, but we've got a Hell Chalice going. She does as well. And I have Solider. It doesn't give you a lot of healing it um, without it being fully stacked, but definitely want to be careful for Thor. Is Thor here? Hit her with. Oh, he missed. I can maybe land on him. He's quite low. I gotta be a little bit careful though, because Nike's ability is coming back up. Ooh, Janus Hold almost hit. If I had a fully stacked soul eater, it'd be a different story. That's just the power of a character having, in a matchup, them having defense over you. Especially mystical, because that gives them magical damage for me as well. I mean, I, there was nothing I could have done besides maybe hit that that first stun. That would have uh, really changed that. Because then, if I hit the first stun, she wouldn't have cleared the wave as fast, and then I would have minions over her. But, hey. Can't hit them all. Can't hit them all. Or can you? She backed, it seemed like, so we'll just go ahead and drop the Sharpie. My camo was able to get their blue buff. Or was it Janice? I wasn't actually paying attention too much, so. She's probably going to be back in time, like right here, and she's going to stop my back with her one or something. That no, looks like we're good. Go ahead and back. 
grab another multi pot. Go. Do we actually? Yeah, we need beads. I say, do we need beads? But we do just because um, the Cupid Cripple is going to shut us down big time. They do have a few stuns as well. I can maybe punish these guys. Looks like they're going to go right jungle, though. Yeah, I'm not going to go to that. I don't have my ult up, so it's really going to be hard for me to chase them. I'm not going to do the camps this time just because Cam is already over here. I don't want to steal his farm. Especially when it uh, seems like. Hmm, he's basically even. No big deal. This game, they don't have as many knockups, but unfortunate. Our med's coming back up. Just trying to make sure we hit our abilities on her for the healing. She's going even more defense, so, you know, we'll just lose these, these burst traits. But our soul leader's almost stacked. We kill this front mini. Nice, we got it. Now look at this healing, baby. Nice. That's feeling good. I'm going to wait to dash just because I don't have my abilities quite back up. Coming back up soon. There's a Thor in the air. I heard his ult. I'm still going to land on this guy. We're fine. I have med still up. This guy have brawlers. He does have brawlers, so that's... I think Thor is actually on my... No, he's on their blue. Okay, I'm on my way. Ooh, nice damage on the Thor. Okay, nice damage on the Janus, I guess. We one-shot that. Go ahead and grab that. I still got my med up, but he does have brawlers. Oh, this game is a little bit worse because we have an Ardeo and a Camazot, so they're definitely going to go anti-heal. I mean, he's already got Divine. What? He's already got Divine? And they have an op wash. It's okay. I'm still going to heal a lot. That's the beauty of the build. Nike's actually rotating to try and kill a camo with ult, and she's going to lose her blue or her tower for it. I was going to maybe get my uh, mid on him, but... No problem. We got the tower. Not a big deal. I think my blue is actually still up, so that's nice. Kimbazot's just kind of got gone on in their jungle. Could back for my guy. Uh, I think I'm going to hold this wave, though, and then back for it. Just because it's going to push into me, because Nike just pushed it. Let me know if you guys like the music in the background. I mean, I, I probably won't ever play it, but just because, you know, I, all I care about is competitiveness. That's the first more, most important thing for me, so... I'll just turn off music so it's not a distraction, but is it is it nice? Do you guys like having in the background? I'm just going to rotate here because I'm coming out of base. This is that rotation I was talking about. We can punish this Terra for it, or we can punish the Aposh. Oh, I missed. Can we kill this guy? I guess not. They have so much anti-heal there. And the Jingwei wasn't really uh, hitting him at all. <clears throat> Thor's 5-0. and Opwash is kind of big. He's got... Oh, no wonder, dude. I was like, why are we hitting this guy that hard? Because he's got freaking Breastplate first item. What the heck? That's cringe. I mean, we can all agree that's cringe, right? We should try and kill this guy. Gamma. Fly in, Jingwei. Yeah, we should definitely try and punish this guy. Come on. Get a blink off. Nice. Nice. No way we can give that guy all that uh, pressure to push it at the tier 2. No, let's do gold. I like that. If we have that kill, I'll push the mid wave and rotate over. Just kind of be over on the right side. I have my blue buff for a little bit as well. They have no terror ult because she just used it at blue and or at the red and she doesn't have any CDR. This is really big for us. So we're in a bad spot after that red buff. I can maybe actually gank this right lane as well. I'm so slow because of Gold Fury. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go left. I want to be able to defend my blue buff. Hopefully Nike doesn't get it. That's... Oh, okay, she's going for tower. Less Thor's over. I should be good on the blue. He is kind of proxying this though. We could just gank him. It'll be pretty hard to kill. Yeah, I guess maybe not. Unless Janus ults over and we chase him down or something, but probably not worth. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Gamma was in range for that, so that's nice to share with him. Especially when he's behind a little bit now. That's what I was talking about in the last video, or if you killed the, the minion as the, t 
tower shots coming. It took a little bit for it to reset, and then it shot the next one. Didn't really apply too much in that situation, but... <clears throat> um, I don't have eyes on Nike. I'm just going to go push this wave really, really high. Oh, she's here. Unfortunate. Missed my stun. No big deal. Jumps away anyway. I definitely out-trade him now. Even though he does have uh, all that defense, I just have way too much disdain for him, and he doesn't have any anti-heal. I mean, look at this. And he jumps away. I'm assuming Thor's on the right side, but I don't even think it matters if he comes over here. I'll try and hit him with this so that I can group up the wave a little bit. Okay, well, that's his ult. Oh, Thor is here. That's uh, Thor ult down. Or not Thor ult down, but uh, Nike ult down. Hey, hello. I'll heal a lot of Scorpion. I still got my beads and met up, so. If Thor does come here, we're good. Nice rotation by the Jingwei. I mean, it's just a Scorpion, but. Let's go on this guy. Oh, I missed. Nice. Good stuff by the Jingwei. She hits her stuff. I don't hit mine. This guy's Nolt is down. We could just kill him. No, I went under it, and I knew I was going down under it. I hate that that happens. We hit those. This Shingwei is making some impactful rotations here. So this is attack fire giant, but it's not up yet. Pyro, that is. Well, it's down for 40. I mean, I guess they could come gank me and kill me, but beads are better up, so we're chilling. That's something you get. You always got to be thinking about your escape plan, you know? Oh, hello. Nice. They're going to be able to get Pyro here. He's saying attack fire giant like this thing. Okay. Sure, why not? I am tanking it. Yeah, it's kind of not... We're just kind of not doing enough damage yet. We could have maybe stuck to it. I'm just kind of following the Jingwei's commands, aren't I? <laughs> They're making plays, so I might as well. Go ahead and grab our cat shield here. And then the last time will be Mail Renewal and, of course, Boomba's Dagger. So, quite nice. Quite nice. They just have so much anti heal. I guess it's not the most ever. They don't have an Ankh, so that's good. They don't have a Pestilence or Contagion, so that's good. And no Toxic Blade. They don't really have a character that can get the Toxic Blade. I guess Cupid could, but... <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm actually... I'm kind of surprised. Like, I know... I'm, I know, like, you know, uh, NVIDIA is, like, one of the best companies in the world, but I thought with, like, the cloud gaming thing that there was... I, I'm not really aware of the technology or anything like that. I didn't know this was, like, even a possibility. Just kind of commit commit to this Cupid, make sure he dies. We can go on the Oplush now, even though he has Breastplate. He's got an Onk on him. Who Onked him? We'll just avoid the stun. We still have our beads if we need it, but... I'm going to go ahead and med my Kami here. I mean, look at the healing. This guy's stuck. <laughs> Dash him. Make sure we hit our abilities when you have our green acorn for the healing. Actually, for the prod acorn as well. You get a little bit of healing from that. So anyway, yeah, I just wasn't really aware of the technology, and I thought that there would just be, like, you know, some hiccups here and there, but, like, this is, I mean, it's just running smooth. I and mean, I can only imagine how it will run for games, like, where you really, really care about, like, how well it looks, or how good it looks. I don't know why I keep saying that. You know, Superman does good. I do well. I don't know. You guys know that thing? But anyway, yeah. It's so, like, if you're playing, like, one of these cool single-player games with, like, the most realistic graphics ever. This this thing is this thing will probably looking be perfect for it. Let's go ahead and back up here. I got my ult up in four. Actually, we're pretty close to level twenty. Is here here as well. We could probably just get that. Just need two hundred more gold. This guy might, might have some kill potential. Oh, yeah, we definitely do. He's pushing up. The way he positioned that was not good. Oh, well. We probably need to hit that, but... I'm gonna go ahead and use my prot shred so Kama hits harder. Stun when he gets really low so he doesn't have time to get his ult off. Was his ult still down or something? That's fine. I kind of took the stun so the terror would use it so the Kama could go in. Don't really need to actually hit the stun there. His dash is down for a while. Just need the damage. Nice job. It's too much for them. It's too much. Jingwei could kind of just back and fly over to fire if she wanted to. Keep making these impactful rotations. 
We have our Boombas now. This is where things get crazy. Boombas, Ratatouska is one of the most absurd things in the game. I mean, especially with a full tank build, you, you just do so much damage, your abilities are always up. Especially if you have the Prot Acorn, the double two Acorn. I mean, like, you just have so many abilities. That thing started hitting me before I even walked in. Did you guys see that? Is it because I was in range of, like, the thing? For it to set the pool down? I don't know. We have Boombas, so let's use our abilities. Get them back. Got to use them to, to get them back, you know? Oh, shoot. <laughs> we kind of just 50 50 it. Were they just playing the corner that whole time? Aposh is dead to rights here, so I'm just going to land on somebody else. He's 1 HP. Give me an auto. I want to get my son back. I have Boombas and too much healing. I feel like I should be good. Maybe. No way. Dude, I thought my team would get there sooner. Okay, maybe maybe a bit troll for me to do that. I kind of need my beats where they keep it up. Oh, and no, I just used them early. That Aposh secure was good. You know what's funny though, guys? You guys are probably thinking, what the heck was that? But now this game's just going to go even longer, which is exactly what we want. That's too bad. I didn't think that they would actually be just like around the corner like that. Usually it'd be my job to zone them, but I was tanking that. I could have just dropped it and zoned them to be fair, and I probably should have, but I really thought that they were just not going to be there. I maybe thought Thor would be there, but he's not going to have nearly as much steel potential as an Aposh with an ult and his full burst with all of his corpses, you know? <clears throat> but it's all good. Actually, they can maybe kill this guy. So they, they have four fires on them, which is not good. But at least Aposh doesn't have it because he died after stealing. In root. <laughs> nice job. Nice I did say Boomba's rat is ridiculous, but it's not as ridiculous when they have all this anti-heal and you int into them, you know, when they have fire. <laughs> let's, let's kill these guys around gold. I kind of want to take this red and then we'll go on him. I'm going to take this red. Sorry, Yanis. I'm top damage, though. That's all that matters, right? Go ahead and use my dash. I'm not full CDR. That's one thing you do want to have when you have Boombas, but... That's his ult. Let's just kill this guy. He's crippled. I'm going to make sure he stays crippled by slowing him into the cripple. Nice job. Now we can attack this. Not having my beads up there is a little bit sketchy for the keep it ult, but... <laughs> he says no. Okay. I probably could have dashed on him if I noticed it earlier, but... I'll just heal that up. Look at this. <laughs> I don't think we go for this. We can't kill that, and Aposh is going to be really good at delaying. Not only because of his ult, but just throwing out his corpses and exploding him on our backline and everything. <clears throat> I go fast. I don't usually uh, even play smite on high settings just because, you know, I don't want to worry about FPS drops, but... So it's different playing on these uh, max settings right now. Kind of nice, though. Oh no, camo. What happened? Oh, I didn't mean to land. Oh no, I did not mean to land. I clicked- I left clicked and it made me auto land. That's unfortunate. I don't know why I did that. Maybe I ran out of time before I left click. They need to get out though. Fire's not even up, so we should be good. Worst case scenario, they get a Phoenix, but no problem. Sorry, I'm making some NT plays. But that's what I said. I said at the beginning of the video, we were going to run it down. I kind of was just trying to bait them there. I think if we kind of full engage on those people instead of just running away, maybe some people were low. Maybe my teammates weren't in the best spot ever. Not quite sure. Both their carries don't have fire here, so they're really not going to be that that threatening on the Phoenix. But Janus is a goner. They just have an OP. Terra Aposh is such an OP combo for team fights. Nice. You can be able to get out of that. No problem. Look at the mid Phoenix, like I said. Worst case scenario. And they did get it. It's just sad that they have 100% anti-heal with Aposh when I'm diving. Because they have the Brawlers, they have Divine. 
And they also have a lot of healing themselves, so... They're kind of matching the sustain game here. Because uh, uh one has anti-heal, his ult has anti-heal. Thankfully, I don't actually get stunned by Aposh 3. Because my all of my healing is from items. If that makes sense. You have to have it. The heal actually has to come from the ability itself. And although you do heal when you hit an ability, the heal isn't coming from the ability, it's coming from the items. So that's why it doesn't stun you. So, kind of interesting thing. Something to think about when you're playing against Aposh. <clears throat> Some people are like, why does an Aposh 3 stun you when you have Stone of Gaia? Well, it's because it's coming from an item. Oh, Janus, let's go. Picking the express route to this fight. I don't know about that ult, though. It was kind of to the left. So, yeah, we want to play the in and out game when it comes to this team fight. Basically, what I mean by that is uh, I don't want to just sit there and full dive them because it's going to be hard to just sit there and tank their abilities because I'm not very tanky. Just get a little bit of poke on Aposh. We need to go on him, though. What is Kama doing? Oh, he missed his abilities. Okay. I'm going to dash on these guys after the ult. Got a double stun. Doesn't matter, though. We could have... They were, Aposh was really out of position there, even before we took a lot of damage from fire. We should have been able to go on him. They can probably end the game here, though. We have a mid phoenix down and everybody's dead. I can try and defend, but... They should be here. They should be ending the game. Okay, here they are. Try and clear some of the minions at least. Oh, he misses double tap. I'm trying to ult. This is probably just gone, but... Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, that is just rough. We kind of just threw a couple team fights. And to be fair, that, that fire giant where they stole it was just kind of bad. And then maybe that last fight before this one where I went in. I maybe cost my team the game there a little bit, but hey. Who knows? Who knows? It was a good game, though. And like I said, I mean, usually you'd be able to do whatever you want, but we had a healing on our team. So they built anti-heal, and then they also just were Aposh. And Aposh basically has 100% anti-heal in his kit already. So, like, just kind of unlucky. The last game was pretty serendipitous. This game was quite the opposite. Just kind of, uh, they just kind of happened to have um, all that anti-heal and some good characters. So, hey, it is what it is. We did 24k damage and probably did a ton of uh, self-healing. We had a nice win. We had a nice loss. You know, both were some fun games. But, um, yeah, we were able to test out the G-Force now using the RTX 3080. And I will say it worked, it worked flawlessly. It worked like a charm. Um... I, uh, I could definitely see the use for this, not only for like, I mean, if you want to play Smite, especially if you don't really have that high end of a, a gaming rig, or maybe you can't afford one, or maybe you're just looking to build one and you can't really get the parts right now because there's a lot of shortages and, you know, it's, it's times are tough, especially with the pandemic and everything. I think uh, I think this cloud gaming thing can, can really be useful. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much to NVIDIA for sponsoring the video. You guys got to see what it worked, how it worked, and what it looked like to play Smite on an RTX 3080. And um, yeah, if you are if you are interested in GeForce Now, then definitely check out the link in the description. And once again, thank you for NVIDIA for uh, sponsoring me. It feels so cool to say NVIDIA sponsoring a Final K video. I just said myself a third person, that's kind of cringe. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you stay safe and healthy as always. And uh, thank you for allowing me to make cool videos and allowing it, allowing me to be sponsored by cool sponsors like NVIDIA, making it possible, you know? So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Take care, guys. Bye.